Today I'll be unboxing and testing the Razer Siren Mini, which is a small budget USB microphone which you can buy for around $50. Let's see if it's worth it. The only microphone I had until now was the one from a Plantronics headset. And if you put a small wind cap on that microphone, the sound of such a headset is relatively okay. Well, actually not really okay. So therefore I went looking for another real microphone that is not too expensive and that's how I came across the Razer Siren Mini. First, let's see what's in the box. The content of the box is pretty straightforward. Inside you will find some documentation, the mic, a mic stand, a small middle piece to connect those two, and finally a USB cable. You can see and feel that everything is made of plastic, but despite that it has a nice finish and the build quality feels really solid. So after screwing that middle piece to the stand, you can screw on the mic itself and finally you can connect the USB cable. So mounting the microphone is very easy to do. After this, you can connect the other side of the USB cable to your computer and you will see the green LED on the mic lighting up. No software install is needed, your microphone is installed automatically and you are ready to go. The Razer Siren Mini is a USB microphone with a super cardioid polar pattern. The polar or pickup pattern graph shows where the microphone records the sound from. For the Razer Siren Mini, which is super cardioid, you can see that the sound is mainly picked up from the front of the microphone and much less from the back. There is no volume knob on the microphone to change the volume, so this must be done on the computer. For the rest, there is only a green LED on the front to indicate that the microphone is activated. You can see the other technical specs here, or you can also find them on the Razer website. Now, let's take a look at the sound quality, which is the most important thing about the microphone, of course. What you immediately notice when using the Razer Siren Mini is that the sound is much better, much fuller, when you bring the microphone closer to your mouth. That's why it's too bad that by default the microphone is positioned so low. If you want to record the best sound, then you'd better use a boom arm or else just put the microphone on a couple of books for example so that it records much closer to your mouth. As you can see from the polar pattern graph, the Razer Siren Mini also picks up sound from the back of the microphone. So if for example the microphone is between you and the keyboard, then you will also hear yourself typing on the keyboard in the recording. This is another reason why it would be better to bring the Siren Mini closer to your mouth so that it is further away from the keyboard and other background noise. And last but not least, what does it sound like when you record something with the Razer Siren Mini? Well, you probably already guessed it. This whole review was recorded with the Siren Mini, albeit with the microphone placed on a couple of books so that it is quite close to my mouth. Let's hear the difference between the Razer Siren Mini and the Plantronics headset microphone. Test, test, test. This is recorded with the Plantronics headset. Test, test, test. This is recorded with the Razer Siren Mini. It may not be the best comparison, but you can clearly hear the difference between the two and that the Razer Siren Mini sounds a lot better than the headset microphone. So if you're hesitating whether to buy the Razer Siren Mini or not, I can tell you this. The build quality is good, setting up the mic is really easy, and finally the sound quality, which is the most important thing, is very good. All in all, the Razer Siren Mini is simply a good solid choice, especially considering its price, which is around $50. I'm going to put my headset aside and use this new microphone for my next videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye bye.